in this module, we dive more deeply into how we develop, how one develops a marketing strategy. Let's start in lecture one, talking about the, one of the primary areas of marketing, new products, etc. We'll talk about how we develop the product strategy in a business. To begin, let's talk about the marketing mix and just to remind us a little bit. Um, it's the part of marketing where strategy uh, that involves decisions regarding all the various variables that you have. That's the, that's the product, pricing, uh, distribution, promotion, those different things, those different areas. Typically, after selecting a target market, marketers have to develop and manage these dimensions. And their firm's competitive advantage usually involves becoming better at at least one dimension of value. And that's usually associated with some element of the marketing mix, either promotion or product, whatever, that is stronger than any of the competitors. But this doesn't mean you could ignore the other dimensions. And it also doesn't mean that you don't have opportunities that you can exploit by developing new products, for example. It's possible to, di to distinguish your product in different areas using your competitive strengths, perhaps, to launch products into new areas. For example, this is a, a factoid. Less than 10% of new products succeed in the marketplace. And 90% of those successes come from particular companies, those that are particularly good at launching new products. So let's jump into the product strategy. The term product refers to goods, services, or ideas. And a product strategy involves the development, classification, mix, life cycle, identification of various products or services. We first look at the product development and the process of developing a product, which is shown in this figure. Remember that thousands of products are introduced every year, but very few of these products actually succeed. A firm can take considerable time to get a product ready for the market. It took more than 20 years for the first photocopier to get into the market, for example. Sometimes a product or an idea is shelved only to be returned to in later development, product development cycles. As an example, a company we're all familiar with, FedEx, while attending Yale in 1966, the FedEx founder, Fred Smith, studied a mathematical discipline called topology, which is the study of shapes. This inspired his vision for creating FedEx, his company. He realized the potential of efficiencies associated with connecting all points on a network through a central hub, rather than going point to point all the time, and there's lots of redundancies in that model. He used what he learned to get the company FedEx off the ground. Some new way of thinking about a marketplace is really the, the hallmark of launching very new products and services. Let's talk about developing new products. Each year, thousands of products are introduced, but few succeed. So therefore, before introducing a new product, you must follow a multi-step process to try and vet it and make as few mistakes as possible. The first step is idea development. This is when new ideas, business analysis, product development, test marketing, and commercialization are all part of the process. New ideas can come from various kinds of sources. They can come from employees, they can come from market research, from engineers, from outside sources, advertising agencies, management consultants, etc. Ideas sometimes come from customers as well. Other sources are brainstorming, um, perhaps some intra-company incentives for people coming up with new product ideas or rewards for new ideas. New ideas could even create a brand new company. A next step in developing a new product is the idea screening. In this phase, a marketing manager should look at an organization's resources, what they're good at, their objectives, and assess the firm's ability to produce and market this product. It may be a great idea, but that organization just doesn't have the capabilities to deliver on it. Basically, there are two reasons why new products succeed. They are able to meet a need or solve a problem uh, better than other problems that are already available, or they add variety to the, the same to a product that exists 
you know, a variety to the selection that people have so that they could have a different experience with the same basic product. Business analysis is the basic assessment of the product's compatibility in the marketplace and its potential profitability. The most important question relates to market demand. How will the product affect the firm's sales, cost, and process? If a product survives the first three uh, stages of deciding whether to move forward, uh, it's developed into a prototype. That should reveal the intangible attributes the pro that the product possesses as it will be perceived by the customer. The product development is often expensive and few product ideas make it to this stage. After that, after you have a prototype, you do some test marketing. It's a trial, multi, a mini launch of a product in limited areas that represent the potential market. It allows a complete test of the marketing strategy in a natural environment, giving the organization an opportunity to discover weaknesses and eliminate them before the product is launched completely in a full market launch. That's the commercialization stage. This is the full introduction of a complete marketing strategy and the launch of the product for commercial success. During commercializ commercialization, the firm gears up for full-scale production, full-scale distribution, and full-scale promotion. In a case in point, consumers did not like the taste of Bach and discontinue, and Coca-Cola discontinued it in 2008. So that was an example of a new product that was launched. And then if you're a good company, you recognize your errors and correct them very quickly. So let's look at some of these uh, some of these parts of the process in a little more detail. First, we have idea development. Nike is a separate division called Nike Sports Research Lab, where scientists, athletes, engineers, and designers work together to develop technologies of the future. Uh, the teams research biomechanics, perception, athletic performance, physiology to create unique and relevant and innovative products. These final products are tested in environmental chambers with real athletes to ensure functionality and quality before these products are introduced to the market. Because test marketing, require, marketing requires significant resources and expertise, there are many research, uh, market research companies like AC Nielsen that can assist forms to test marketing of their products. The figures on this side show the permanent uh, the figure on this slide shows the permanent sites for uh, AC Nielsen, um, as well as the custom locations that might be used for testing for test marketing of various products. In the next, in the next uh, lecture, we'll talk about product life life cycles.